Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be creating a Valentine's Day card using a fairly simple watercolor technique that can produce some really pretty results. I have a piece of watercolor paper cut five and a quarter inch wide by four inches tall. I'll be using my Komorebi watercolor palette, some clean water, and a round paintbrush in size 12. I'm going to start off by taking a brush with a fairly diluted amount of paint and I'm going to draw a rough line right across the watercolor paper. I'm using a broad stroke so that I can get a nice wide line. Then I'm going to rinse off the brush to get some of that paint off and I'm going to soften those edges by running a damp brush over the bottom part of the line and over the top part of that line. I'm going to take another color and I'm going to do the same thing, varying the size of the line by changing the angle of my paintbrush. Then I'm going to soften those edges just like I did earlier. While the paint is still wet, I'm going to pick up some paint from the palette and run it through the damp part of that first line. You can see the paint react to the wet paper and it creates such a pretty effect. I'm going to bring the paper up close so you can see that movement of the paint. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with that second color but you'll notice that the paper has already dried so the paint won't move. I'll rinse off my brush and soften the edge just slightly with my clean, damp brush. Now I'm going to grab some of the metallic copper paint and I'm going to draw a nice thin line through both of the colors. I'm going to rinse my brush and soften only the bottom edge of the line. I'm going to add more copper and play around with it until I get the look that I like. And I'm happy with this. I'm gonna let this dry so we can move on to the next step. For the sentiment, I'm using my oblique nib holder and my Browse Blue Pumpkin nib to do some dip pen calligraphy. And I'll be using some black Sumi ink. I'm going to zoom in and speed up the video so you can see what I'm doing. I'm writing loving you in a modern calligraphy style script. You can see that I'm going to struggle a little bit with having enough ink on my nib. If you look closely, I didn't have enough ink to fill in that little hole at the top of the nib. And that's why I kept running out of ink so fast towards the end. And there's the finished sentiment. Now we can work on finishing the card. I have a piece of Nino Solar White cardstock cut in half and I'm using my mini scoreboard and the Cricut scoring tool because I feel like I have a better grip on scoring than when I use a bone folder. I'm going to score my paper in half to create a size A2 card. A 
And now I'm going to use the bone folder to further fold down the card base. I'm using my favorite adhesive, score tape, to put this together. I love that you can just rip the tape off the roll with your fingers. It's so convenient. I'm going to adhere the watercolor paper onto the card base. You can add a backing of colored cardstock to frame the paper, but I love the simple look of the white on white. And here's a close up of the finished card. The camera is picking up some of that beautiful copper shimmer, but it's much prettier in person. If you try this, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your work. My link is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you take a moment to subscribe and tap on that notification bell. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.